back to my channel. I hope you're all fine, you're doing well, you're staying safe. So today, see these pretty faces. <laughs> we are coming to get interactive. I hope you enjoyed this video. So in today's video, we want to basically talk about life in Ghana because obviously these friends of mine moved to Ghana not long ago and I have been in Ghana all my life as well as Jacqueline here so we just want to know their thoughts what their experience has been about and we hope you just enjoy so please be with us <laughs>
picked up that journey and we're not yeah yeah it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's too so, expensive yeah. Yeah. so Anna your case is going to be different because you yeah. are yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very okay so I think um we didn't intend on moving here we intend to just have a vacation and move back mm -hmm. and now we decided to stay right I think we're still in the vacation phase mm -hmm. because okay that I think Kevin has grown, uh, has known the system now, and he calculates in CDs. Mm -hmm. While I, everything I do, I revert it to euros. Yes, yeah, otherwise I can't know, I don't know the value of CD yet, so I'm not used to that. We're a family of four, and I, honestly, I don't know the budget, but we spend a lot. <laughs> you know? and, but we, we, we go out a lot as well, and I think the food is so cheap in restaurants, <laughs> and it's <laughs> It is now, and it is a week that I've decided to say no to my kids when they want to have three drinks. I say no, baby. We're not, you know, mommy and daddy are building a business now. Yeah. One drink is okay. Yeah. Or maybe I say, okay, you can't go for dessert now. Mm -hmm. But my kids and myself and Kevin are not used to a life of budgets mm -hmm. because we always had very stable finances. Okay. So it's just now that we're trying to get used to it, and I think that's why maybe we're not too good at it yet. I'm getting really good tips from you, so I'm <laughs> But I think rent in Ghana is very stupid. It's crazy. I don't understand it yeah. at all. So because the charges they have, mm -hmm. I don't mind paying good money for a good house, but I want my house to be set. Mm -hmm. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any plumbing guy coming to mess things up or this or that. But that quality is what's lacking for me here. Yeah. I don't think you get enough value for your money. So one thing that I always tell people who are asking about moving here, I think if you have the funds, first get a home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cut down that yeah, yeah. rent cost and yeah, that before yeah. moving here. Jacqueline, how about you? Well, personally, I'm living with my parents, but if it was on campus, I feel rent is a bit expensive. But if you want it to be expensive, it will. It depends yes. on what you want. Do you have to rent your uh, apartment? Yeah, yeah, you yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Rent. Okay. And I feel it's expensive, but we have different types of um, postal. Oh, so if you want it to be expensive, yes, it would be mm -hmm. expensive. Okay. Yes. So it's a bit expensive. As I said, I have to repeat to myself. If you want it to be, it would be. Yeah. So me, I always say, life or the cost of living in Ghana here can be expensive or much relatable mm -hmm. depending on your lifestyle. Yeah. Because let's say if you're the type who likes to shop from the big big shops mm -hmm. from the mall, something that I'll go to Madina and get for mm -hmm. one city, mm -hmm. maybe you might prefer to go to the mall which is about two hundred cities. Yeah. yeah. So cost of living in Ghana yeah. here sometimes depends on you. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you're talking about rent. Yours might be expensive but True to be told, I think there are some places that the rents are much relatable, so it all depends on your preference and yeah. what you want to yeah. um, So it's just me and my boyfriend. We didn't plan, not that we, we, didn't, we didn't know what was going to happen, we didn't know when we were going to like it here, stay here, so we didn't plan long term. Also, we didn't, we left like UK quite abruptly, so there wasn't time to like save a lot, a lot of money. Um, I don't know how much we spend because I'm kind of still in the like vacation stage, wow. but then at the same time I'm not. So I convert everything, mm -hmm. and there are certain things that I think, yep, yeah, this is worth it, and then certain things where I'm like, this is not worth it. Yeah. Um, however, I do admit that we, I can't even say we spend a lot of money. I spend a lot of money. <laughs> if, if I want something, I will get it. I will get it done. So. My boyfriend is not really spending a lot of money on stuff, but me, I'll get my nails done, mm -hmm. pedicure, mm -hmm. eyelashes, and then, like, <laughs> I want my, okay, both of us, like, we, yeah, we can get snacks here, but I want Oreos, mm -hmm. I want, like, mm -hmm. I want my comfort food, yeah. and obviously those things are a lot more expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things like cheese, like, I will spend money mm -hmm. on cheese and, like, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Also, like, what you were saying about the market, yeah. Mm -hmm. Going to the market is um, a lot cheaper. Yes. However, sometimes the, the convenience. Yeah. There's a milk yeah. there's yeah. a milk yeah. down the road yeah. for me, or I can go to Medina Market. But sure. it, it's it's That's like I just want to try to get it. Yeah. So um, I think there's 
balance because also we don't have a car, so we will get Uber. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, like depending on where I'm going, I don't mind to get on the truck. Mm-hmm. Like, I actually don't mind. Um, I'm not like I'm not. I'm not fast. So okay. Yeah. So in aspect of warming food. Josh. So in aspect of the food, do you guys start again? You can just cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I want to. Just gonna take. Would you come back? Yeah, come, come. Take away. Take your kettle if you want. Okay. Yeah. Do you find it spicy? No. I think burns my mouth. Wow. I eat it all the time. All right. So you can continue. Okay. So with the aspects of food. Do you guys prefer to cook at home or always eat outside? Because in my point of view, I I feel like if you want the cost of your living in Ghana here to be a bit manageable or low, you should cultivate the habit of always cooking. Because when you cook at home, you can store some in the fridge, be eating them, other than always popping outside restaurants and all that. Yeah. What, what do you guys Completely agree. I think for me, um, I would love. I prefer to cook, so I'll cook like stew in bulk, yes. and then I'll put it in containers and freeze them so that randomly we can take one out, so you don't have to eat the same thing every day mm-hmm. as you like that. Because we're a big family, we can't afford to eat out all the time. Because yeah. when we go out to eat, guaranteed minimum two hundred cities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you might try to do that five times a week, but that might finish. I'm broke. <laughs> so you know, I can't do that. So definitely for me, it has to. Be, I have to. I have to. There's too many of us to do eat out all the time. Yeah, I can help you quite a bit too. Or oh, I just go to my grandma's, there's food there all the time. So, mm. yeah, I don't buy food that much. Yeah. Unless I'm out, out, but I'm actually going out. Mm. Well, um, I make sure that the girl who lives at my house who helps out, mm-hmm. she always cooks Ghanaian food during the week. And I prefer that because I want my kids to get used to Ghanaian food mm-hmm. and because I just like it. So yeah. there's always food in the house. But on the weekends, we go out and that's where we eat the European or fries or stuff like that. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. how we do it. But personally, I think I prefer to eat out most of the time because of my schedule. It depends. Since I'm a student on campus, you go for lectures, you come back late, and it's very difficult for you to cook. Mm-hmm. So if I get a time, I will cook. But I feel cooking, as Judith said, mm-hmm. is less costly than eating out. Yes. Because if I eat out when I'm on campus, if I eat in a week, I'll spend more than what I would use to go to the market and get mm-hmm. groceries to mm-hmm. make. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, I definitely agree. It's a lot more cost effective to cook. However, obviously, sometimes we can't be bothered. So, when we do eat out, we like, if we know that somewhere's going to be expensive, like, we'll kind of save that as a treat. Also, I'm getting used to like the deals and stuff. So, I know that like, I'm going to pizza in on Tuesday, <laughs> yeah. and get two for one, you know, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. I know I'm learning like the system. So, when I'm eating out, I'm not always going to Sky Bar and all these places. Like, I make sure that. Um, you know, keep it with everybody. Yeah. Okay. So from all that we've talked about, I want us to wrap up. So what are some of the things that you think people can do to cut down costs in Ghana? What are some things that are going to well, stay home?